So good morning, everyone. Another day here of DebConf in Taiwan. It's uh, great to see you here in the morning. Uh, people are still streaming in into the uh, venue, and uh, we are ha having here the first uh, talk of the day in the room, uh, Xueshan, which uh, with George. Kaznadar, but there are different ways to pronounce the name. Uh, for example, it's a Turkish name, uh, uh, so it could be Kaznadar, but like if you speak it in French, where you are living in France, right? Yeah. Then you could also uh, say uh, Kaznadar, but yeah. you can also, we can also call you just uh, George. Yes. Uh, okay. Easier. This is great. So thanks for being here. And um, you're having uh, two uh, sessions. So one session today and one session tomorrow is a workshop tomorrow. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, people can attend the workshop uh, even if they did not attend the conference today. Yeah. So. So yeah, it's great to have you here, especially because you have been working over many years already yeah. with uh, um, people in Asia, for example, in India, Praveen yeah. Kumar and others. So um, we're really looking forward here um, with uh, more details um, uh, from your talk. So a round of applause for George. Thank you. So the title of the conference is uh, Pocket Debian in my school, and uh, so I just uh, take Pocket Debian. And uh, I shall be talking uh, and rebooting my computer in real time, so uh, this will uh, be uh, just a minute. Uh, I develop Debian Pocket uh, because uh, there were issues with uh, uh, using uh, Debian uh, on computers in my school. Uh, all the teacher did not want uh, to have a foreign system. They just prefer Windows OS and uh, the rooms are used by every teacher. And uh, so there is uh, some mainstream and I struggle against that mainstream culture. Uh, but with the students, uh, it is way easier uh, because uh, every machine has been configured in my school uh, to boot like mine. Uh, that is, uh, it will uh, recognize immediately when a USB stick has been uh, switched on and uh, boot on the USB uh, stick. So, just a minute. Uh, my students are generally uh, surprised to see how fast uh, the boot can be. So uh, I have the complete boot uh, screen here. I make just a little adjustment uh, in order to have uh, the same image on my computer and on the uh, common screen. So uh, screens, this one should be Here is it. And I start my talk again. So this one. Oh. Uh, I should go to the begin. So here is it. Uh, I am teacher uh, in Dunkirk, which is uh, the northern part of France, and in Lycée Jean Bart. Uh, I belong to a few uh, organizations and associations, AFUL, uh, April, which are free software organizations in France, uh, Offset, which used to be an international free software association, and uh, I am Debian developer for a few years. Uh, so. Uh, teacher side when you use computers in French schools. Uh, how can we know that something is useful? Just break it. And when it is broken, uh, you see immediately uh, whether it was useful or not. Uh, as I am uh, in charge of the school network, uh, my colleagues uh, ask me whenever uh, something breaks. So uh, here are the questions in uh, order of decreasing importance. Uh, the first thing uh, they must do is to take the attendance. So if that doesn't work, uh, they are lost. Uh, then I cannot access internet. 
the computer is way too slow. Oh, but that's window. Uh, I explained them, but they cannot hear it. I cannot print PDF files. Oh, that's uh, quite a new feature of our school computers. Uh, the printers are Windows-based, and I don't know why, the drivers are not correctly configured. I cannot read my USB stick because uh, all colleagues come with uh, uh, video or images or uh, short talk on a USB stick, and there are often issues. Then uh, the student size. Uh, so first question, nothing works. Oh, it should be uh, very easy, but uh, when nothing works, I have nothing to do. Oh, very well. But unfortunately, I come and everything works again. Uh, my password never works. So this is the second line of defense. But I can change the student's password. So that doesn't, the computer is way too slow. So uh, this is always about uh, Windows, which uh, is making, uh, we don't know what. Uh, where is the application? It is the last line of defense of my students. They don't find the application. Then all my work suddenly disappeared. Oh, uh, you know, students never say they work. So uh, it is uh, the ultimate line of defense. Uh, but so, And um, just a remark, how can be uh, this computer so old? Uh, you know, in French schools, uh, generally computers are five years old or uh, even more. And uh, young people uh, look to have, uh, like to have uh, just uh, uh, breaking news. Uh, this computer is five years old. And uh, that is interesting. It works very well when used with Debian. Uh, I have been pushing GNU Linux solutions for a long time in my school uh, with a few success. Uh, between 2005-2010, uh, we had a complete room uh, using uh, GNU Linux. Uh, it was a distribution to make physical measurements. And uh, a few teachers were uh, teaching that curriculum. So uh, each of them uh, knew the peculiarity of this uh, room, and they knew that it was not Windows, but uh, that did not disturb uh, them. So they could use it, and it worked. Uh, later, uh, more uh, people came in this same room because uh, the curriculum has disappeared from French programs, and then they are required to uh, use Windows because uh, my operating system was uh, very foreign. However, the OS issue. Nowadays, uh, every people is using Android, so people are not uh, rigid as they used to be. So when something new appears, they just adapt. Uh, however, uh, my colleagues are still resisting uh, the change. For example, all of them want uh, Microsoft Office. I don't know why, because students only have access to LibreOffice. Fortunately enough, uh, both are compatible uh, for the files uh, issued by teachers. Uh, we can suspect that uh, this is due for uh, to, to Microsoft uh, lending uh, free, as in free beer, uh, free licenses. So this has got a long success. Among the oldest bootable media based on GNU Linux, uh, you can count with Freelux CD. Uh, it was a live CD-ROM with an educational distribution uh, it was made by members of the Association Offset uh, between years 2002 and 2007. And the most successful release, uh, which was Tempt uh, version 1.5, has been downloaded from uh, SourceForge more than uh, 100 or 1,000 times in year 2005. Um, the feedback we got uh, 
taught us that uh, uh, people enjoyed empowering uh, old computers in a virus safe environment. Uh, because uh, in primary school, which was our main target, uh, computers uh, may be 10 years old. And at that time, uh, they were using uh, Windows 95 in 2005, and you can imagine how many viruses they got every day. So, for 10 years now, bootable USB sticks are more convenient than DVD ROMs, uh, just because, because one can save uh, some personal content on them, and uh, so it is uh, slightly customizable. Uh, Freeduc USB is the hair of Freeduc City. Uh, you have here a uh, useful uh, URL, usb.freeduc.org. Uh, you can find every explanation here. Uh, it is a derivative of the Knopix distribution made by Klaus Knopper, which maintains this custom Debian distribution uh, regularly. Uh, it, there used to be one new uh, version each year, at least. Uh, I remaster it at a deep level, so uh, I uncompress completely the file system, make some changes, and uh, fold it again. How do my students react to such an environment? So, when they see that for the first time, uh, they it is uh, easy to uh, save them. Just use the USB stick, plug it in, and start your computer after that. So it's not that difficult. And as far as I could see, uh, the time of adaptation of my students is roughly 20 seconds. Uh, Ten years ago, they said to me, oh, the Windows is a bit strange. Um, Nowadays, they are very proud to recognize uh, GNU Linux, but because uh, they uh, know something about GNU Linux. So, themes are changing. Uh, as they generally succeed to do the work I assign them, they are proud. And uh, I say them that they are officially becoming hackers and hackers. Um, uh, girls uh, appreciate uh, to hear the name hackers, which is the feminine form of hacker in French language. Um, I don't have enough time uh, to develop uh, the few applications uh, we have here. I shall show you in the last minutes or during the question session. So uh, there are some specific uh, scientific applications here. Pi acidobasic, it is about uh, chemistry, uh, jonglage, it is about uh, mechanics of the point. Uh, for example, you can take a film of somebody uh, playing with uh, balls, uh, for example, a uh, football uh, ball, and uh, make, uh, make a simulation uh, using the rules of physics and see how it works. Uh, Pi make a video, so uh, this is about measurement on video files, but uh, there are many of them. Um, let, us take, let us talk about uh, scientific experimentation. Uh, during the workshop, I shall mostly uh, talk about uh, the Xpies box, uh, which our chairmaster uh, knows, because uh, we are working with that. So, uh, this box features uh, something like an oscilloscope with four channels and uh, much, much more. But uh, back to experiments. You know uh, that currently uh, people uh, make a confusion uh, between science and faith. Both are different things. Uh, if we go back in European uh, history, uh, the Maybe you know the history of Galileo Galilei, uh, who was sued because uh, he pretended by earth was turning. At the same time, uh, the Holy Office, that is 
uh, the Christian uh, topmost authority, uh, used uh, books which are not really free licensed. Free licensed. Uh, it is Bible. You cannot change the Bible if you are not uh, in this topmost office. So uh, Galileo was sued, and on the contrary, he was proposing uh, free science because people uh, were invited to recompile uh, his knowledge. Uh, of course, you needed uh, some drivers, uh, some uh, hardware. You needed uh, to have uh, something to uh, absorb the sky. So uh, we did not see Pi Mecca video. Uh, and uh, I wanted to make the focus on XPies. So uh, it is a small embedded system. When I say it is small, it is real small this size, and rather tough. Uh, when my students drop it, it still works, okay? That makes a big difference uh, with the oscilloscopes. Uh, just try to uh, throw an oscilloscope and you will see whether it works uh, longer. So this one is released under free licenses, both uh, for the software and for the hardware. Uh, currently, there is one a uh, free license for hardware, which is released by CERN, um, the OHL uh, license is a good license for free software. Uh, students who have to learn coding and programming uh, recognize that GNU Linux uh, is a good distribution because it was made by hackers and uh, targeted to hackers at the begin. So you can find acute tools. Uh, that, that is, uh, for example, uh, if you want to make something in a cook, uh, you can use a knife. A knife is something sharp. You can do very precise things with a knife. Uh, when you are using Windows tools, uh, it is like making with a spoon. Uh, very difficult to make uh, sharp things with a spoon. Uh, and you have loads of libraries, uh, just one apt install away. Uh, when my students are using Windows, they uh, generally use Notepad++. Uh, the USB stick comes with a GNI pre-configured, and they have quite the same environment, and uh, most of the teachings uh, begin with uh, JavaScript and Python, uh, more precisely Python uh, version 3. Uh, however, to feel the advantage uh, coming with Debian, they must to be uh, somewhat advanced. So uh, they need to have a personal project and then they feel uh, the gain of having a powerful distribution. That's all. Um, we can begin the question session if we have some time left. I just uh, deploy here a view of the uh, educational applications coming with the Debian Pocket. So, are there any questions? Yeah, there's a microphone in front of you. Do you have any reason to use um, Knopix instead of Debian Live, which is, in my opinion, is more easy to configure and to adapt? So it is just an historical reason. Uh, when a fast live distribution existed, uh, Knopix was uh, among the first. And Fredux CD was just uh, a few months before. Uh, it was based on another uh, live system, which was made by Raphael Herzog. Uh, but uh, we stick to Debian, uh, to Knopix uh, because of that. And I am trying to use Debian Live, uh, which is a powerful system. So uh, I 
could make the same distribution, but uh, at some time it broke. I did not understand why, so uh, I must uh, learn it, and uh, I feel it is more powerful. Yes, uh, you are right. I, I'm not sure. I, I just went for several years ago to remastering Knopic CD, and I think this process is quite um, stressful, and Debian Life is might yes. be less Yes, yes, I, I know. Um, so we have one minute left. Uh, some other question? Hi. Hi. Uh, thank you for your talk. Um, have you already looked at Debian Edu? So uh, we should begin to work together. Uh, the reason why I did not collaborate with Debian Edu is uh, because in, uh, I am not root in my school. Uh, uh, so uh, I cannot deploy a system like Debian Edu. We already have a system based on Debian, but uh, with some proprietary additions. And that cannot be changed. Uh, so I focused on uh, developing uh, an environment with educational application, which Debian Edu is not currently. Uh, there are a few links to uh, educational uh, application for end users, but uh, the main focus of Debian Edu, as I thought, maybe it is different now, uh, is rather for sysadmin uh, working in schools. Uh, yes, uh, you're right about the main purpose. Um, I managed to to deploy it actually in just in one room, in one okay. uh, in one classroom, and uh, it helped uh, me to deploy uh, uh, LFTP. No, I don't remember uh, booting uh, booting via network. Yes, just with Syncliant via via network. Yes, so that I, so was uh, the uh, way we booted in the uh, room. Uh, which I must uh, uh, give back to Windows uh, in the past. So, uh, unfortunately, this is ancient history for me. But maybe that can change because uh, times are changing. Students are uh, knowing, uh, are increasingly aware of GNU Linux, and maybe young teachers know how it works. So, as uh, older teachers uh, are finishing their, uh, their career, uh, maybe uh, some change will happen uh, soon. And uh, we shall work together. I think it is the way to go. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Thank you very much. And a round of applause for George. Thank you for the talk. Thanks.